Hi guys, welcome to Wikip Movie Channel, and these are 10 more thrillers with an unexpected finale. The selection includes some mystical as well as detective generous movies. We hope that everyone will find something new to watch. Write in the comments what other interesting thrillers you know. We will be happy to get acquainted and maybe we'll use some of your suggestions in the next talks. So let's not waste any time and begin! Anna. Dr. John Washington works for an unusual company. Protestant psychic abilities, John helps patients to penetrate deep into their memory and extract the necessary information from it. Moreover, psychic himself can penetrate the memory of his clients, thereby he becomes a witness to the events of the past. John often has to participate in the investigation of the most complex crimes. However, his new case doesn't look like this. A girl named Anna complains of domestic violence and refuses to eat. John plunges into the girl's memory and become a paw in an insidious game that blurs the boundaries between truth and fiction. It's a fantastic thriller with an interesting concept, but unfortunately, by the second half of the movie, some hits and clues become too obvious, but in general it's not so bad and quite suitable to watch. 10th place. Anna. The Uninvited. A girl named Anna returns from a psychiatric clinic where she spent a lot of time after her mother died in a fire. Upon returning home, she discovers that her father is living with a new woman, a former carrier named Rachel, who was in the process of taking care of their mother before her death. Older sister Alex quickly opens Anna's eyes to the truth nature of the new stepmother, and the sisters begin to make a plan to get rid of the hated woman. The movie is based on a Korean horror, a tale of two sisters. The remake also combines the genres of thriller and mystical horror. The movie is dynamic with its own intrigue. It tries to keep it secret until the very end, but a well-watched viewers may suspect something was wrong much earlier. The movie was rather poorly appreciated by critics, but ordinary viewers gave some good marks to it. Ninth place. The Uninvited. Who am I? The protagonist of the movie is a young computer genius, Benjamin, living out a miserable life as a pizza delivery boy and hopelessly in love with one of his regular customers. The young courier has resigned himself to the fate of a nameless outcast a long time ago, but everything changes after meeting the charismatic guy Max, his direct opposite. Max invites Benjamin to his team, a trio of crazy hackers who are always ready to have fun in real life or online. After Ben joined them, the hacker group begins to arrange more and more daring provocations. The disadvantage of the movie is that it's too long and there are some unnecessary plot twists. However, the dynamic and tense fragments will fix that. 8th place. Who am I? The perfect getaway. Cliff and Sydney just married and decided to spend their honeymoon on one of the beautiful Hawaiian islands. At the same time, news about a couple of murderous maniacs operating in the vicinity appears in a local news. Traveling through the wild part of Hawaii, the newlyweds meet two couples of the same tourists. But it's not clear who can be trusted, because both couples more or less matches the police description of serial killers operating in the vicinity. This is a rather fascinating thriller, which also combines the detective genre. There is enough dynamics and entertainment, and even some humor sense, and most importantly, an unexpected finale. The movie is memorable, and if you close your eyes to a few controversial and illogical points, then in general, it is definitely worth watching. 7th place. A perfect getaway. Six Souls. The movie tells the story of psychiatrist Kara Harding, who exposes criminals who don't admit their guilt in court and blame everything on their alleged split personality. But Kara's new case, which her father gave her, promises to be much more difficult than she thought. The psychiatrist encounters a patient whose illness she cannot explain. However, not everything is so simple, and the more Kara goes in this matter, the more she puts herself in danger. The plot of the movie is full of intrigue, unexpected twists and turns with a good cast. The downside is the slow pace of the story. In some places, the action develops rather slowly and the viewer can get a little bored. Well, in general, a good thriller with an elements of mystical horror, and we are sure that fans of this genre will enjoy watching it. Sixth place. Six souls. The 
the loft. Five friends conceive a scam. Secretly from their wives, brides and girlfriends, together they rent an apartment in a prestigious building. The loft becomes for them a place of solitude or a place where they can bring their mistresses. The main thing is to keep this apartment a secret from their wives. One morning, the secret life of friends ends in a nightmare. In bed, they find a bloodied girl with her pants cut. All the evidence points to the fact that someone from their group of friends crossed the line, but it's still necessary to find out who exactly did that. The movie combines the genres of detective and thriller, and its best side was a strong script. The movie is a remake of 2008 Belgian thriller of the same name. This is a fascinating genre movie that can keep the viewer's attention and surprise with an unexpected plot twist right up to the very end. Fifth place, The Loft. Searching. The story is telling us about the widower Debbie Kim, who is raising his schoolgirl daughter Margot alone. She is a great girl. She plays the piano, is fond of science and has many friends. David thinks so. Until the terrible day, the girl disappears. David has a lot to learn about Margot. Previously, he would have read her diary hidden under her pillow. But today, in order to find out the secrets of the teenage girl, her laptop must be hacked. The film was shot in a relatively new style, screen life. The narration takes place through the screen of electronic devices, most often a computer. We see the monitor screen as a movie character, what he writes or what programs he launches. This manner of presenting, of course, allows to save money on the production of the movie. But it requires a really thoughtful script, so that the viewer doesn't lose interest at some points in the story. It turns out to be an exciting movie that keeps you in suspense until the very end. Fourth place, searching. The hidden face. The young and successful conductor Adrian is abandoned by a girl, leaving him only a video message in which she simply confronts her boyfriend with the fact without explaining where and why she's living. Out of depression, the young man gets drunk and meets a waitress in a bar, Fabinia, with whom he begins a relationship after a short time. After they move together, the girl starts noticing some strange noises from the bathroom and circles just appear on the water in the sink. But in addition to problems with the house, there is another inconvenience. The police, who constantly visit the conductor and clearly suspect him of the disappearance of Belen, his ex-girlfriend, who cannot be found anywhere. The psychological movie covers a number of highly sensitive issues. Jealousy, betrayed, deceit, self-interest, envy. Quite good Spanish representative of the genre. Third place, the hidden face. The guilty. Danish thriller about police officer Asger Holm. Asger is involved in some business, and while he is under investigation, he has been transferred to rescue service departures. And now, at the end of the working day, when he can go home with peace and mind after a nervous shift, received a call in which a woman reports her abduction. This entails a sleepless night solving a detective story with only the phone at work. The film was shot in the same room and almost no more than one actor appears in a frame. However, you are guaranteed to get involved in this story and get nervous along with the main character. The impressive work of the director, the leading actor, the sound editors is almost an example of how chamber cinema can be made. And given that it was a directional debut, the movie deserves really high marks. Second place, The Guilty. Primal Fear A terrible crime has taken place in Chicago. The murder of Archbishop Rushman and a frightened, blood-stained young guy Aaron was found not far from the crime scene. He became the main suspect. There is a plenty evidence against him, but he stubbornly claims that he is innocent. Lawyer Martin Will, contrary to his principles, believes the suspect and, relying on the words of the young man, he does everything to leave him free. And Martin's former lover Janet is his opponent at the trail, a worthy representative of the thrillers from the 90s, with an excellent cast, but the king here is, of course, the young Edward Norton, for whom this film became his debut. He immediately grabbed a Golden Globe, was nominated for an Oscar and several other prestigious awards. The film is really good and it has all the ingredients of a detective thriller, a twisted plot, a tense atmosphere and an expected finale. First place, Primal Fear. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. Share your movie impressions in the comments below. 
and don't forget to subscribe and put the big thumbs up. See you! Bye!